Hi, I'm Sarah Vickers Webb with the Institute of Innovation and Economic Development, an institute at the College of Business at Cal State Monterey Bay. Today, I'm talking to Russell Cole, founder of Exactly, the 2021 Startup Challenge Venture Division winner. Exactly is a multi-sensory data analytics company that helps farmers reduce, reduce losses and improve yields. What can you tell me about Exactly? Exactly is a company that's helping farmers currently in Salinas Valley and California predominantly uh, analyze their crops from a farming perspective and a sales and operations planning perspective. We do this by leveraging drone technology and other sensory data technology and evaluate that information to maximize the data and provide the farmers and sales and operations teams with information they wouldn't have otherwise had and much more quickly and more accurately than they could ever imagine. How did you come up with the idea for exactly? I think there was a really strong interest of mine after being an entrepreneur in the ag tech space for a couple of years. And I just wanted to be a little bit more proactive in, in the, the ecosystem of farming and how to help farmers in a proactive way. And that led me to imaging. Um, it was COVID while I, I was kind of on this exploratory journey. And uh, I was able to meet people online, have virtual meetings and find drone pilots, actually a drone pilot in specific, who is now our director of ops, Graham Evans, um, in the Salinas Valley, serving some farmers and, and wanted to do better for those farmers as well. So we got really collaborative and, and had some really good ideas about ways we can improve current technology and improve service to farmers and give them as much value as possible with proactive technologies. And that led down the path of being uh, an imaging and sensing company, which we are today. And it just took an organic fashion. We were very excited about our story and how we got here, but I think we're more excited about where we're going. There's so much work that we're doing with machine learning and building models. And I think it's, it's really um, being designed to solve problems that just aren't being solved right now. So you are currently living in Canada. How did you end up hearing about Startup Challenge in California? Uh, one mentor and supporter who's heavily involved in IED is Chris Bly, and he was the gentleman who introduced us to the ecosystem. And because of COVID and all the virtual conferences and events that were happening, uh, exactly had the opportunity to participate in an event that was nowhere near where I physically was and put us on this path towards winning the venture division and uh, basically growing our business in this region that, that we didn't expect to gain so much support in so quickly. Could you tell me about your experience participating in Startup Challenge? Yeah, it was excellent. We, we had another partner and a, a now a board member of Exactly who was an incredible mentor for me and the business throughout that challenge. Brooks McChesney is uh, someone who was highly involved within the Startup Challenge for many, many years. And we were fortunate enough to have been picked by Brooks to mentor. And I couldn't have learned more uh, from Brooks and more quickly uh, than Brooks had shared and, and taught me along the way. I could tell you with certainty that we would not have won the competition without Brooks's help. The experience included many calls of pitch practice and going through, you know, the, the types of information and, and the time limits we had to share that information to be able to present it concisely and quickly and professionally. And it was, it was excellent. So how has IIED supported your business development? We've been in the minds of IIED along the way, and I think the general introductions and the support we've gathered um, from either a mentorship perspective, an investment capital perspective, a network introduction uh, has been supreme, and we've been very fortunate and thankful. We've attended some events and, and just continue to grow within the community, and I think that's just how things organically take shape these days. And then what are some challenges that you face in developing your business? I think uh, the, the funnest part of, of being a startup founder and, and building a business is that there's a new challenge every day or, you know, mounting challenges every week. And quite frankly, I think some of those challenges just have to do with the stereotypical um, trying to get things done very quickly with a limited budget is a definite challenge. We're funded, fortunately, uh, and we have budgets in place to accomplish and execute tasks. You know, we want to do more and we always want to work faster. And it's a challenge to most effectively and efficiently spend that, that money that we have. 
uh, to propel our business to the next step, which brings me to a larger challenge, which is really just raising the next round of funding in our business. We have a pre-seed round that has been raised and completed, and it's our next goal and our next challenge to raise the next round. And what are your hopes for your business in the future? We are making a difference. I think we'd like to make a bigger difference with you know more organizations. We're able to really help in a variety of ways, not just to put more money into farmers' pockets and to you know improve profit margins or supply chains, but we're able to really help the environment by tracking environmental sustainability goals. We're able to help farmers understand what works for them best, what doesn't work for them, so they can make any modifications to not only help themselves, but that world part that I really think is exciting. Many people on our team are motivated by this. We're definitely eager to look at the data that we collect and over time compare and contrast data to determine just how much we've reduced the negative impact of the climate. Being able to, to say we were a part of that and that we're making money doing it, I think is a beautiful thing. Thank you so much, Russell, for talking to us about Exactly. And please keep us updated with anything new, new that happens with your company. Excellent. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it.